New at 6, the man accused of crashing into 13 cars in Oneida County appeared in court today. Robert Johnson, a 52-year-old from Ontario, Canada, already charged with bail jumping, now faces a hit and run and felony charges for reckless driving, endangering safety. News 9's Tom Lally is live at the Control Center with the story behind this chaos. Hey, Tom. Hey, Phil, February 14th, 2020 is a Valentine's Day that the town of Lake Tomahawk will have a hard time forgetting. We was busy all day long. It was a busy Valentine's Day dinner. Every one of our busier nights, I remember it a long time. To add to the panic, police lights started to flash outside. I, just, I couldn't believe it. A car had just crashed through town. Authorities say Johnson started hitting cars in this intersection, then went for two blocks, hitting 13 cars in the process. Ending here at the intersection of Bradley and Violet, where car pieces and a turned over mailbox still sit in the snow. Jackie caught it on camera Friday night. Yeah, her daughter's house is here and she's standing at her house. She even saw Johnson get taken away. He didn't look like he was very happy. Neither did the owners of the cars he hit or the person he almost hit. And then I see he came all the way into my lane headed right towards me. Ashley, a single father of two, had just gotten out of work. If I was 30 seconds earlier, we would have hit head on. He didn't fear for his own life, but his five and six year old children at home. They're the first ones that went through my head. Now, servers at Shamrock think of Valentine's Day when serving spirits. Sometimes they'll even suggest drinking responsibly or taking a cab home. As for the driver, Robert Johnson, he's set to appear in court again next month. Back to you.